So now we're going to go into division. So just like, ladies and gentlemen, I did before, here I have a times 10 to the n divided by b times um, 10 to the m. So for division, just like when we did the product, we just multiplied a times b and then added our uh, powers. Well, for division, it's going to be very similar. We're just going to divide a divided by b and then times n to the n minus m. Because remember, again, the properties of exponents, when you divide exponents, you subtract the powers. So basically what we need to do is take 5.25 and divide it by 5. All right. So to do that, we're going to go through, again, long division. 5 divides into 5.25. Well, 5 goes into 5 one time. Cool. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract. Get 0. Does 5 go into 0? No. So therefore, we have a decimal point. Bring down the 2. Does 5 go into 2? No. But we can bring down the 5. Oh, so it doesn't go into 2. So therefore, um, we can have 0. Does 5 go into 25? Yes, yes 5 times. OK, so it's 1.025. So therefore, I have 1 so 0, 5, sorry, times 10 to the negative, negative 3 minus a negative 6. Remember our properties of minus a, huh? It's just going to be a positive 3 minus a negative, which will be a double negative. So your final answer is 1.05 <laughs> times 10 to the third power. Okay.